my daughter and um, what she likes to do on a daily basis is sleep, eat, poop, what else, pee, she likes to pee everywhere, and sleep, yeah, that's all she does all day, that's pretty much sums up her day, and we're gonna go to the park today, so. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a little chit chat, get ready with me. I'm going to be spilling a lot of tea and I hope you guys find this video pretty entertaining because I did go into a lot of things that have happened in my life while I have been gone. Basically that's it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on all my social medias. And let's get into the video. So I already moisturized, so I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Prep, it's like a primer, and I usually only use it on my nose, and I have an ear pod on it, cause ear pod, ear pod, I'm going to go in with my beauty blender, I usually go over my face with my beauty blender, just where I saw this but I'm gonna be putting the airspun powder on my face like super loosely so I'm gonna be using this brush it's like shaped like a circle this powder has not been working out for me as like a setting powder I would do my makeup so perfect like it will look so nice and then the second that I put on this powder it looks disgusting I'm gonna give a pulp on it already I was gone for like a good while. It was good for me because I feel like I needed a little break and I was honestly really happy. Not saying that like YouTube doesn't make me happy. But I was just like in a good zone and I didn't want to like mess that up. Like I get really stressed out if my YouTube videos do not come out the way that I really want them to. It would make me really sad. So it sucks to make content that is not making you happy. So I did upgrade and I got a new computer. Oh wait, let me show you guys what foundation. I'm using the Laura Mercier foundation in the shade 3M1 buff. I did get this from like a trade from Wafra and I guess I got lucky enough to just get the right shade because we did trade like a lot of things. I wish there was like a, like a page where you could just like trade stuff with people. That would be cool. I did like plan to do the spicy noodle challenge with my nephews. However, I have been pretty sick. I didn't want to like mess with my tummy anymore which sucks but I'm trying my best to like push through it because it's the holidays. I've been sick since like before Christmas so I couldn't even eat like the tamales or nothing you know. So my holidays have been pretty sad. So for concealer I have been using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I know it's a foundation but it was too light for my skin. It's in the shade 140. And I also got this from a trade. I wasn't lucky enough with this one, but it is, it like works as like a perfect concealer. So I hardly ever buy myself makeup, so this is as close as it gets. So lately I have been binge watching. The way that I usually binge watch like YouTubers, I'll go all the way back to like their very first video and start there. I have been doing that for a while. I had just finished um, binge watching the Aguilars, which I love them. They're cool. And also, I need to find like new editing softwares. I need to like upgrade my thumbnails and everything. I don't want to say this is my last video or anything, but if YouTube does decide to like change everything and make everybody's life complicated, then this will probably will be my last video. And I'm not sure when this video is going up, but I will try to have it up by New Year's Eve. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this concealer works really good. But usually when I use it with the airspun powder, it, it becomes really, like, disgusting. Like, I literally look like a freaking lizard. Only child now is Boo, which really sucks, but having two dogs in an apartment really wasn't it. And so... My other puppy didn't go, well he did technically go far, but he's still in the family, so hopefully him and Boo will reunite soon and hang out. So 
I'm not gonna set my under eyes. It looks so much better without me setting it. I'm using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. And also, I didn't do the YouTube for a while. Not because I didn't want to. I did take on the responsibility of getting two jobs because... Okay, story time. I applied for a job. I'll say like in August, I applied, I went to the interview, the lady liked me, everything, whatever. Then she called me and told me that she could not hire me because um, the company, like the head of the company was making her hire somebody that already had worked there before, like so it could be easier. Whatever, I gave up hope and I went to my other job, shout out to all job people. Um, I don't know if they're watching this, but if you are, then shout out to you because you're a real one. I was already working at TROP. I was getting pretty good hours. I was having the time of my life because, you know, everybody there is friends, whatever. So, I was, like, I was really happy. I was in a good, I was in a good place. I was in a really good place. So, I get a call from the lady at the other job. And she tells me, like, do not have a position for you. However, there is another position for you. And it is at another store. Mind you, this store is farther from where I live. So it was a different county. They got paid more. So I was just like, whatever, like I'll do it. You know, at the beginning, I was like super about it because I thought that it would be cool and everything. <gasps> On my first couple days, I was already like, whatever, like this job is alright. So I stayed. And then as the days passed by, like every day I would work there, there would be like another issue. I could tell that I wasn't gonna fit in there because they already had built bonds and I was just there. So I always felt kind of left out except with like one girl. So after a while, I started feeling really sick. And that's how my whole like being sick started. They wouldn't even explain sometimes what I was supposed to be doing, but then they'll get mad at me for doing it wrong, which was really dumb. Cause I was like, how do you want me to do something right if you're not even explaining like what I'm supposed to be doing, you know? I don't know, I just always felt awkward. Like I felt like if I ever wanted to like take my time, whatever, that they would like like think of me as like being lazy or something. Which is like, bruh, if we work 8 hours, obviously I'm gonna want to take a 10. And I would always feel guilty, so I would just go to the bathroom and like, use the bathroom and stuff and use that as my 10, I guess, because I was like, sitting. Which sucks because I don't want to be using the bathroom like, as my like, break time, you know, that really sucks. But I felt like I had no other options. Me using the bathroom and me having a break is like, two different things, but whatever. The Sunday before I went to the doctor, he had told me that I was gonna be like, uh, pretend to be by myself that day and it was just me and her and I remember my stomach hurt so bad that day and I felt like I had to pass out I felt like I was about to pass out so I was like not doing the most because I already felt super bad and I was just like I don't even want to be here but I came at some point I had to like just run to the bathroom because I couldn't no more and I just like I was dying and then I come back from the bathroom and she goes on like a little rant that I can't be like just going to the bathroom like like what if customers needed me and all this stuff and I'm, I'm just sitting there like isn't that like what you're here for like bro like obviously if I was by myself I wouldn't be doing that and if I didn't feel good I wouldn't I would have like switched with somebody if I was by myself but she was there so I was like it doesn't matter and for highlight I like to use this Fenty Beauty and it is the Hustle Baby and Mean Money one And the day after that, I just, I couldn't handle the pain anymore and I just went to the doctor and it turns out there was actually something really wrong with me. You know, it kind of just like got me mad because you know, like, even if I wasn't, like, even if something wasn't wrong with me, like, you cannot tell somebody that they cannot go to the restroom when they need to use the restroom. And then there was another issue. I worked, I was working there every day right now that I'm on break. I had an open schedule. So I was working every single day and the only day that I wanted off was Sunday and she could not, she like, that was like, triggered her so much and I was just like, oh my, oh my god, god. Like, if I say that I cannot work these days, it's because I can't, you cannot tell me that I have to work these days or something like, what? Like, every day I would leave that job, I would always cry because I was just like, bruh, like this is not fair. I saw a tweet that said, you liking your job depends a lot on the manager. Like the manager can make you want to quit like the best job ever. And 
that's a fact because my job was not bad I don't know there was just like little things every now and then that I was just like no and then I would I would just stress out so much like even in my other job I started crying because I was just like I can't like there's it, I just can't and like everybody at my other job was like rooting for me and shout out to all the trap people I know what's right and what's not right so it's like you can't tell me what I can and cannot do like just because it fits your needs no the job would have been really cool I like the job and everything but it was just like the manager was trash I hope I would be able to go back to that job but not with that manager however me and Alex are doing super good and let me show you guys what he got me he did get me some roses oh he does love me okay yeah so he got me these roses and i think they're so pretty i was feeling really bad and he was like the one that helped me you know i was just crying all day when he went to work and then he came back and he was not texting me so i was like what the heck like this is not like alex so he wasn't texting me and then i was like right here getting ready and then i see him like through the mirror walk in the door and i was just like oh like he got me flowers and i was gonna cry but i was like no i'm a bad bitch bad bitch is a friend and then I got freaking vanilla candle! My secret Santa at work and I also got like a video projector thing for my phone. <sighs> I was so excited about the candle. I don't know but like I love candles. Like I would never buy myself a Bath and Body Works candle ever. So I'm basically done and I'm gonna be doing my hair. I used the Mario Badescu. Now I'm gonna do my hair. BRB. Now then I'm gonna just eyeball this and hope I did it good. And if it's crooked then I guess I won't know until I watch the video back. And I'm gonna be doing the part a little higher on this side because I have more hair on this side. I used to do like wavy curls but it would make it would make like the bottom of my hair look super weird and I like I want to be more of like an influencer or whatever but it's so hard for me to like take pictures of myself and stuff because like right now I'll look in the mirror and I'll be like oh my gosh she's so cute you know but once I start taking pictures I'm just like ew who let her out and my makeup has been looking kind of decent or whatever but then I definitely want to give off bad vibes but and I do have to use um, a heat protecting glove because I have burned my soul so many times in the past that it's not even funny. But I have a lot of burn marks. I have one right here. I have one, I think, on my hand. This is like the, the first ever burn mark that I've ever gotten. I don't know if you can see that. I remember that one was, I think, from the current door. music to pretend we're at the club room. I'm gonna do my hair like before I started but I already had my eyebrows done and I was just like I don't wanna look ugly for like 10 minutes or two. Also, my shirt is from Sincerely R. Way to go. And it's super cute. I did dye my hair back to a dark color because I was so over all the maintenance, I guess, of having blonde hair. So I now regret it. But I guess on the same topic, they were kind of judging me about like dyeing my hair with like Walmart hair. I did it by myself and I did it like on the bathroom floor. Blue was with me. I almost died here too. Just kidding, don't have that. I don't know, I've always just liked my hair natural. Like every time I dye my hair blonde, I always regret it. But it's cute. I kind of want. 
to get a couple tattoos because I just how I'm feeling. The idea is to get random tattoos, like anything I want on the right side of my body, that's face on the left side of my body. So I would get his face like on this part of my arm. I did get a tattoo and I'm not sure if that was in my last video. It is the smile now, cry later faces and I think these are so cute. I kind of regretted getting it there. I mean now that I have it there, I kind of regret it because I'm like I should have put it. I should have put it somewhere else, but it's too late, so I kind of just have to work around it. Um, for my hair, I also put this coconut and I just spray it everywhere. So, I'm gonna grab here and I just like put it, twist it a little, and then put it up. I usually just pull out some baby hairs because I don't want to look bald. Usually do hair before my makeup and everything. I'm like super out of breath. I feel like I haven't talked this much in a while. And I miss you too. I hope these videos do come out better because I do have a new computer. So I'm excited about the new year. I'm gonna be doing a lot of things that self-worth and things like doing better kind of off. Um living my best life, basically. If you guys did not see me next year if youtube changes its guidelines and everything then i'm so sorry and i wish all of you guys a happy 2020 let's make this our year and let's do better let's be better people and let's be nicer so thank you so much for watching my video and